So it's time to, um, we're going to do a spigot bag, do the push, and we're going to use our favourite tool, mm. bread. But specifically, Bacon. Baker's Delight, hard fibre low GI. It works the best. I what you really want. You don't want any of that multi grain shit. That's not going to work in the situation. Makes the job difficult. If you're going to do the job, use the right equipment. Gets the job done faster and easier. Thank you. If you've never seen this before, it probably looks really weird. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't seen this before, just bear with us. Yeah. Oh, that's too much. All right. So that's the bread. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to squish it in the hole. We want more bread. I find the crust. Mm. The crust first. compacts nicely. There's a lot of people watching right now going, this ain't gonna work. It pushes it, compacts behind it, which will bring it out. I just got bread on me. It pushes it from behind. It pushes it, works, it from behind, yeah. Works really well. You can use grease, but I find the grease really messy and the grease also wants to pop outside the shaft, like it just misses it. I'm trying really hard not to get my hand here. Yeah, she's coming. I'm gonna stuff it with some more bread though. Oh, I ate all my bread. <laughs> We stuffed up, we uh, forgot to hit record on the camera when we got the speaker bearing out. Rookie mistake, but it does work. I know it probably looks stupid and you're probably thinking we're having you on, but it does work and it works really well. So you just have to believe us for this go, but we'll probably do it again one day soon. So the reason why we're replacing the speaker bearing anyway is because the, the diameter of the input shaft of the Falcon T5 is bigger than the input shaft on the Aussie 4 speed. So it has to be swapped out. Oh my god, it's so heavy. How do you turn, Rainer? Oh, I got it dead on, mate. Ooh. So, we don't have a clutch alignment tool because the fancy clutch kit that we bought doesn't come with one, and Nathan shares his views on what he thinks of that. <laughs> So what we can do is get an old bro extension bar <laughs> and we wrap it with some tape so that she fits nice and that's too much tape. <laughs> Which will fit nice and snug when you use this. Not ideal, but it's all we got. And now I should be able to make this match. Oh, it's like we got it right the first one. Alright. It's time to ditch the mock gearbox and uh, put in the real one. Voila! <laughs> now all we've got to do is wait a little bit. It just looks good, see, with the, the, the orange in the middle? I like it. Yeah. Except the orange is a lot nicer on this side than that side. Yeah, we're just going to get that adjustment right, which yeah. I have no idea how to do. That's right. Why does it look like we need to press that? Well, I'm hoping we don't have to, because if we do, we're in trouble. Tap her in. Just tap her in. Yeah, hammer. Yeah, that's it. So now we want to lube up. This is exciting me because now we're actually putting stuff onto the car rather than taking stuff apart and ruining what was a really nice car. <laughs> we're making it a better one. Which felt really bad. Yeah, but now that it's all painted and seam sealed, it looks good though. No. Doesn't fit it. What the hell? Honestly, I went and slipped it on before and it didn't fit. I was like, yeah, does that go like that? It's way too small, isn't it? Yeah. Shit. 
shit. That still doesn't fit. <laughs> so it's been a couple of weeks, but we're finally back. We, uh, we had the issue with the thrust bearing carrier not being the right internal diameter for this shaft. So I spoke to Dallo, and they were pretty good about it to be honest. They came back and said, oh yeah, that's because there's two different output shaft sizes on the EL gearboxes, and we have the bigger diameter apparently. So we spoke to them, they were really good. They sent us out this one lickety split. And the best bit about this one is, it fits. Ah, delicious. So now we can go ahead and actually put the gearbox together and finally get it into the car. So I'm gonna get rid of this. We don't need this one anymore. What we do need is some grease. Cake, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I was waiting for the noise. <laughs> this thing has fought us the whole way, but we're getting there. You've really hurt me here, T5. It's almost like you don't want to be in here. All right, it's in. Finally, we. <laughs> the other night, it was an absolute freak. What should have been an easy job for this to go in. It really wasn't. We, um, I don't know how many times we have it in and out, maybe two or three times. Um, the main reason being is because we didn't have a clutch alignment tool and we got it pretty close, but it just wasn't exactly perfect. So getting the gearbox in just didn't line up exactly right, but we got there in the end. <clears throat> the, other biggest issue, the other big issue that we had was the clutch fork here. It kept popping off the ball. And then when we finally got all the gearbox back in, we thought, hooray, it's done. We realized it popped off the ball and then we couldn't get it back onto said ball. So we fixed all that, that's all done. But we called it a night then, we thought, you know what, we need to walk away, have a bit of a rest, and we'll come back to it today. I spent some time today just buttoning up the cross member, tightening all up, she's all ready to go. And now we're excited, we're into the good stuff, and it should be fun now, not like the other night. That was, that was painful. Yeah, that was painful. <clears throat> but these things happen. So I think, what do you want to do? You want to do drive shaft? Yeah, let's get the drive shaft in, because that's all cut down to fit. I hope it fits. Yeah, I hope it fits too. Because Michael like just winged the measurements. I was impatient and I thought I should have waited and wait until we got it in. But I just used the mock gearbox and thought, yeah, she'll be close enough, surely. So <laughs> I just winged it. So I'm hoping this is going to work. Imagine if it didn't fit. That would be very disappointing. Just the tip. <laughs> oh no, it's in drive. You mean it's in first? Or in it's gear? in first. Oh, good. This is in neutral. <laughs> well, I don't think you can put a diff in park. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the handbrake's on. <laughs> it's been a big day, all right? <laughs> Fit? Yeah, it should do. So how much slip we got? That's all right. <clears throat> it's close at the minute, but which the, is the opposite to what I actually thought. Well, the diff will tilt. When this diff goes up, this, um, the dry shaft actually pulls that way. Yeah. So you end up with more gap. Oh, that's perfect. So that should be fine because that's a full tilt at the minute, so. Yeah. Sweet. All right, we can button that in now, I guess. Yeah, I've got the box here. This is something that I've been looking forward to for a long time now. Extractors? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> nope. The old rat trap system's going and we are going cable clutch. So this is a conversion kit from Resto Country. We bought a few things from there. This stuff's really, usually really good. Yeah. Um, obviously comes with the cable, comes with the new pedal, um, comes with all the adapter plates you need to do so, um, and instructions, how good's that? I love new bits like this. This is like Christmas for my car. I haven't had this in a long time, not this much love. Even a oil change. Haven't done an oil change yet, but we should do one, shouldn't we? Thought we were going to do a full service. Yeah, we should. Cable. Sick. It barely pulls. It doesn't pull much, doesn't it? I know. I hope it pulls the... Uh, <laughs> I hope it's enough. <laughs> so this cone apparently goes in the bale housing, which I never knew about when I did my panel van. And I still don't have this in my panel van. So my cable is actually held in by, rat, by cable ties to make up for the fact that I was missing this part. And this man owns two gorgeous cars. I know. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... Why has it got that huge hole? It doesn't make sense. 
and I made up some dodgy jerry rig way of getting it to work. But apparently, you get this little cone here. Slip that in and look. Oh my god! It's like it was made for it. It fits. Oh well, you've already done the hard part. <laughs> uh, I cleaned the block up. Did you notice? You didn't. I spent all day cleaning. You don't even mention anything about it. Yeah, it looks good. I noticed. You didn't. I didn't notice. But it does look better. Looks a lot more orangey. Itch. Mm, good fun. It should just be a bolt, shouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We're already making it lightweight. Lightweight, baby! Lightweight. Alright, we've got a big nut here to pull the whole assembly off. Get, get, get. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you. Nice guess. Yeah, it was a guess. It's almost like you knew what you were doing. Total guess. Was it? I had the other bolt here. But we're not going to tell him that. So, it's really hard to film, so we apologise. We can't actually get in here to show you. But, oh, I'm sure we can, really, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what we're basically doing is pulling apart the whole pedal assembly. I guess is what you'd say, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, you'd, we're taking off the, the brake pedal, the clutch pedal, and then what we're going to do is get rid of the clutch pedal, put an auto in it, just put the brake pedal across a bit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, everything's going to come out because we've got to trim two tabs. So by the looks of things, you've got this, which the column goes through, and you've got to trim these two tabs because it comes with two um, metal plates which drop the whole assembly down. So we've got to cut out these two bits, so we've got to pull everything out and not try and catch on fire when we cut those bits because then it hangs low just look at their beautiful hand hand drawn drawing looks gorgeous everything's falling on my head shh ooh we have a clutch pedal pedale <laughs> don't let that don't let that fall over because I need to know where everything went ooh. oh you know what the instructions say they say to just put an auto in it. <laughs> no, like, look, that's legit printed. What? Three pedals, two pedals. <laughs> Holy crap. This guy. Old mate must have put that in there. Are you having fun, Nathan? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is when you know it's bad. You're on fire watch. Michael's going to Safeway to get toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> You're on fire watch and you have to watch this time. Yeah, I will. Yeah, well last time you said that the car caught fire, remember? I couldn't see from the angle. Well, that's where you're supposed to look. I was... Good! <laughs> <laughs> make it rust more than it already has. <laughs> so... This is... Sort of what we had to do. I know, apologise for the crappy camera quality, but we can't get the camera in here. But we just had to nick this lip. This lip here had to be nicked off on both sides. So you'll see it on this side too. That was nicked off as well too, and that's just to allow for the plates to go in. I'm working on that. Okay, so that goes on the bottom bolt. Like that, that's yep. it, yeah. So you're gonna have to hold it there. Are you winning, Nathan? Sucks. <laughs> Could just put a freaking auto in it. <laughs> nah. Michael been a busy man. I have been. While well, you've been working. Working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, alright, fair enough. Um well obviously this me and Michael have both been under the dash of this and it's just too much mucking around. So Michael has gone ahead and done it and you can't even film it really. I'm going to show Nathan through what I have done. So what I have done Ooh, is... Oh, that looks good. The pedal's in, yeah. and so is the clutch, obviously. Is that going to clear the extractors? Yeah, that and looks good. the accelerator cable... The accelerator pedal and cable's hooked up. It's not hooked up to the... Yep, yep, yep. It's not hooked up to the carb yet. We've got to make a mount for that. Yeah, that's easy. But the pedal's in. That was a mission in itself. That wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Um, the reason being is because HQ brackets for accelerators are different to HJ and above. Yeah. Um, so I had to, I was either going to make my own bracket to suit or I just ended up stealing one off my panel van. Yeah. So that's got no accelerator in a minute <laughs> because it donated its services to this. <laughs> so, 
So if the pedal's in, that's sorted. That looks like it's gonna work. And I had to make up that, see that plate there where the accelerator cable comes out of? Yep. I just had to make that up. That so looks good. it's just basically a that triangle looks, plate with yeah, a that looks nice. square hole in it. That looks really nice. But that's gonna work. Um, so all the pedal box is done basically, under the dash is pretty much finished. I can't be bothered laying under there to look at it. Yeah. I trust your judgement. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> and um, the good news is, do you want the good news or the bad news? Um, I always want the good news. I'm going to start with the bad news. Okay. So remember how I said I thought I'd fix the clutch adjustment? Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't. It's still not disengaging. It was a lot better than what we had it originally, Yeah. but it's not disengaging. Um, so gearbox is back so gearbox out. So gearbox is back out again tomorrow. Michael Vleck from Vleck Records was kind enough to lend us the uh, an input shaft. So I made this up. Our dummy input, what do you call that? Sleeve? Slide? Something. In? Now we're going to slip in our dummy. A lot of dummies here, especially the two beyond the camera. <laughs> slip that in. Um, so now we have essentially a pretend gearbox in, but what it allows us to do is play with this screw here to adjust it in and out to make sure that we get our clutch alignment right. Yep. If anybody knows an easy way to do this, please let us know because I have no idea how to do it. And I've tried to look all over the internet machine to try and figure out if anyone knows, can tell me how to do it. And the only information I can find is on hydraulic clutches. And this isn't a hydraulic clutch. So if anybody knows, please write in the comments. Please. All right, so go in Nate. So it turns freely, and then when he releases, it locks up. And uh, yeah, it all seems to be working. So I'm pretty, pretty stoked in that. We both are. Hi, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it from the top, but anyway. Oh We're gonna try something. I've made up a little bit of a Frank Stone here because we're gonna try something that I saw on Facebook. A little hack of pumping oil into gearboxes just because why not? And if this works, it's gonna be amazing. And when it fails, inevitably, we're gonna have oil everywhere. But if it works, this is gonna be a game changer for us. Oh! Why is it clear? It works! You ready? Ah, uh, yep. It works! That's working so well. <laughs> I think that's it, isn't it? That's it. Holy shit, it worked! Wow. Well, there you go, folks. <laughs> Don't you wish we had that for the dip? I know. <laughs> that was gross. Mind you, Michael spent like a good half hour doing that while I did everything else. Yeah, but now it's ready for all the others. Look, there's no oil on the tube. Hell yeah, I'm wrapped in that. That's like the best thing I've ever made. Where's the plug? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, that was cool. <laughs> Just talk to whatever we talked last. All right, you ready? <laughs> ready? Yeah. Oh, the street hates you. How loud was it? That's loud. Is it? Yeah, who cares? That was good.
You could tell it was just running off nothing until it filled the bowl when you revved it a bit. Yeah. Oh, dude, the clutch feels amazing. Oh my god, I'm so excited. That was amazing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is going to sound nice dumped at the diff. Those extractors, this is going to sound good. It, it feels really good. Like, you just lift the clutch and it just takes away. Remember, you used to whoa, 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 yeah. the kangaroo. What do you think? That feels really nice. Much lighter, isn't it? Yeah. And the accelerator. Bum, 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 bum. Does the accelerator feel nice and light now? Yeah. It's still heavy, but I think that's the spring. We've got, we've got quite a strong spring on it. Yeah, but it's nowhere near as bad as we used to. I could yeah. probably take a bit out of this. Room. Yeah, but there's, it's smooth. When before it was like, it was hard and then it went soft a little. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that feels good. Shifter height is nice too. Definitely. So are we, are we ending today, Michael, with this? I think we'll finish it here. We'll save the interior for another day, I reckon. Yeah. Get that done another day. Um, we'll do the exhaust the next time around, I reckon, because we're pretty much at that stage now. Uh, it feels good, so we'll probably put the interior back together. The clutch feels like it's at the right level, so we don't have to pull the um, gear gearbox out again. So third time lucky, as always, with <laughs> us. So I'm wrapped. I reckon that's a total win. I'm so excited to hear it running now, like actually get the exhaust done. Until next time, folks. I wonder if we could just slide the mufflers onto the... Um Extractors. <laughs> hey, probably could. What's that? What's that reduced down to? Two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. Oh, let's slide it on. See what it sounds like. You reckon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've just slid the mufflers over the end of the <laughs> the end of the extractors, so we can try it out a bit. <laughs> Which it sounds mint. Fernando! Was that recording? No, it's not. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say we could uh, put a fork in it. He's laughing. He's not going to admit it, but he's laughing. <laughs> Alright, let's go.